and welcome to this week's podcast with Big League Gaming. Your host, Noah Hanky Hankinson over here. And then me, Colton Sunshine Murphy. Sunshine! Oh yeah, I love doing that. Okay. <laughs> How's your guys' this week? Good. I hope it's good. It's what than... the heck? Did you see that? Yeah, that was <laughs> it's weird. like a pop in the back. Yeah, that was weird. All right. Oh, <laughs> speaking of, I don't know if anybody's confused about why I call him Sunshine, but before this wonderful young man here had this disgusting hat on, look at this. I mean, this luxurious hair. Oh, like you look like um the, the Wesley guy. Wesley from Princess, Princess Bride. Bride. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> before this was cut, it was down long like Clay Matthews kind of. That, that was a, that's another reference to you, Clay Matthews. Clay Matthews. But um, the reason I call him Sunshine is if any of you has seen Remember the Titans, he is Ronnie Bass from Remember the Titans. So That's a fantastic movie. Wonderful movie. Absolutely. If anybody hasn't seen that movie, call I'm him. extremely disappointed. Yeah, call him. Tweet him on Twitter. Send to Twitter at Murphinator44. Yeah. Look at that. And then we'll take a poll, see how many people haven't seen it. Haven't seen that movie. If and then, you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it. It's a fantastic movie. It deals with a lot of things. So, we had finals this week. Oh, and that was god-awful. It's over. Yeah, thank God it's over. How'd you do? Um, You know, I my HP speech was good. My Spanish was good. My AP psych was good. Thank goodness, man. Yeah. I hate AP. Um, But my math, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. took it. Yeah, hey, free response was okay. Multiple choice. Well, that multiple choice on math is dumb because it's either you get it wrong or you get it right. Know, At least on like free response, there's parts where like if you do the step wrong, that's true. you'll get marked off for the step. But right. he'll notice that you did that step wrong and he'll still check your math. And if right. you did the math right, right from then on, you know, you're okay. What about you? Um, I did fairly well. You know, yeah. I'm no straight A student, but you're you know, smart though. I pass. I pass. No, you're really smart. No, not really. You're Anyways, <laughs> um, Paul can't join us this week. Yeah, speaking of smart people, unfortunately, that yeah. Oh gosh, dude, he's gonna. He's a, he's a genius. I know. He's he would have aced your math test. Oh, he would have. He could have been asleep and aced my math. Oh yeah, test. probably. This kid is drooling on the table and still. <laughs> it's still. Um, yes, Paul's not here. But speaking of Paul, in the bet we had on our first podcast last week, we, uh, I lost. Yeah. So I you guys KFC. Yep. There was a bundle just recently placed on Amazon for The Last of Us Remastered and The Order 1886, sorry, <laughs> and a year of PlayStation Plus added on to the four, 430. Yeah. Yeah, 430. 40. And then um, at GameStop, they had it. I, I think it's over. I, I'm not sure. You, you guys might be able to check. I know it's still on Amazon, but GameStop, I think I was just in there. I don't think they have it anymore, but it was 450 bucks. I don't know. If anybody bought it, good for you, because that's a pretty good deal. That's a fantastic that's, deal. The Last of Us Remastered is a beautiful oh, game. Oh, it's my favorite. And it's even better on PS4 with the updated graphics and character oh, models yes. and whatnot. And it comes with all the DLC. Exactly. For and then player. the Order 1886, also very good. You know, I mean, we'll talk about that oh, later yeah, we'll in the get podcast. To that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that later. <sighs> so, second podcast. It's been episode two. Yep. Again, we are not the best podcast out there. We'd like to say that we are trying. I hope our lighting's better and our audio's better. Yeah, we fixed it. We've we've t we've listened to your feedback. Thank you all for the emails. And Thank you, Sir Banjo, specifically yes, yes. from Reddit. That was a fantastic email, and we appreciate that greatly. Any, you know positive feedback that we get is huge to us Absolutely. and even the critical feedback is also huge because we know how we can i mean it's easy fixes that you guys present right. us with and, and of course i mean we're starting out so yeah. we don't know what the heck we're doing exactly. you know, we're, yeah, look i mean no i turn on this light throw this in the background exactly. you know we got a mic here <laughs> think, i think our setup's nice you like it you guys like the change of setting you like it yeah you know? i mean, I mean I like we were it. at your house last time yeah i mean <laughs> we'll flip all back and forth too that way it's change of pace you know sometimes we'll have gameplay sometimes we won't that way it's just you know a little bit of little different a little yeah. bit of different dance for you guys mm -hmm. yeah so we also did Game Jam on Friday, which mm. is like a local multiplayer where we just get the crew, obviously Paul, Noah, and I together, and then we invite a guest on. And this Friday was my girlfriend, Nikki, and she'll probably be on multiple of our Game Jams. She, but we She's a pretty legit gamer. Yeah, she's pretty legit. Yeah. She, she, she beat me. And uh, our relationship <laughs> did. Us. Yeah, our relationship did come close to ending there. She, for a did second. she pour water all over your yeah, head? She poured water on my head and took my hat away and tried uh, choking me while unfortunately, playing. Unfortunately, we didn't have like the video recording us 
But if you guys haven't checked it out, you need to go check out where you, we played Star Wall, Star Wall, and, and Tower Fall Ascension. Ascension. Yep. Um, and we, I think, I think we did. It was fun. Yeah, it was, I really enjoyed it. I thought that was awesome. It's, it's a good throwback to like the old couch co-op games that yeah. I used to play on like yeah. the PlayStation One or Absolutely. Two with your buddies on a Friday night. You know, right. there's not many of those games left. Right. So but, yeah, well, that's we'll definitely be highlighting oh, yeah, those local sure. co-op. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Co-op and against each other. Mm -hmm. And Nikki will be on all of our right. Yeah. Is that? Yep. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. Most of them. Most of our game jams. So we got that group of four, you know, each week. There we go. And then also, if we get 100 subscribers. One, zero, zero. We will be doing a giveaway. And that's actually pretty cool because a giveaway on a YouTube channel. Yeah, for 100 subscribers, successful. dude, your chances are huge. Pretty high. That. Yeah. Like, there's a... 1% chance actually that you'll get it, which is actually pretty high if you think about it. If, yeah, like think of the lottery. I yeah. Mean, it's like a point zero 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 Yeah. Yeah. Exactly that number, too. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, so you guys need to, first, you need to subscribe to our YouTube to enter. And once, once we do that hosting for the, our show, we'll select a random subscriber and then you will get our giveaway, which we're not going to mention. Not going to mention. We have it planned out, but. We yeah. want to build the anticipation for it. But to keep on, to keep up with the news and keep up with how many subscribers we have, subscribe to our YouTube. Or gosh, I just said that. Subscribe to, <laughs> follow us on Twitter. Gosh, yeah, follow us on Twitter at Big League Games, and we will be posting weekly our videos. And I'll keep you guys updated on subscribers. Like once we hit fifty, once we hit seventy-five. Right now we got a solid eleven. Thank you to the eleven that subscribe. Seriously, like huge. It literally means a lot to us. <laughs> But I will keep you guys updated on that so we can get those subscribers and you guys have a chance to win our giveaway. Yeah. Well, yeah, so I'd like to introduce a new segment called Sunshine News. You know, I thought that I had to do something with time for some news, time for yeah. sunshine. Sun, sunshine yeah, news. Yeah. yeah. All right, Sunshine News this week. So, Star Wall just tip launched. Obviously, we did a game jam on it. Check that out. And. That was some very good fun. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've had... There was yelling going on. My mom was like, is someone dying? Like, you know, your mom's questioning someone dying. <laughs> she popped dying. her head in the room. Yeah. Yeah, she, get up, get up. At one point, we all... I think it was when Nikki beat me. We all were like, oh, my mom. I come downstairs to get a glass of water and pop or something. It doesn't matter. And it looked, no, no, no. It was like, this is juice, and it looked like tequila. It looked like... <laughs> the Oh, the... um. I don't know. What it, was, it was orange juice, but like the water had melted it. Or and you had like this melted. much, so it looked like you had some yeah, sort of like tequila. cocktail or something. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was orange <laughs> pop. And <laughs> but yeah, my mom was like, "What's going on up there?" And I was like, "Star Wars is going on, mom. That's going. That's what's going down." Yeah. Nikki kicked my butt. It. She won. She won a she lot. Won a lot. Actually, but if you yeah. haven't checked that video, check it out. Please check it out. Also, Dragon Ball Xenoverse came out for PS3. For PS3. PS3. And sixty dollar retail. It's a fighting game. I <laughs> honestly I have to say I have no clue what this game is. I've actually heard some pretty rave reviews. I, I I've it. yes, I've read People reviews. Honestly it enjoyed it. Yeah. That's pretty cool to see a lot of the times it's like movies or you know, like comic book right, or right. cartoon anime yeah, stuff. Anime, yeah. They have a hard time transitioning to right. video games right. or uh, vice versa, you know, video games have a hard time transitioning Absolutely. to that. But hearing these reviews, you know, it's, it's right. a positive outlook on yeah. the gaming to entertainment. And yeah. and the and the anime genre and anime it, it has a huge audience. Oh, you know, yeah. just in general, like just normal anime, not like For video sure. game anything. It has huge audience. So, we'll probably get Paul on that. He's our PS3 guy. Yeah. We'll probably have Paul play that. We probably should have played it. I'm sorry for the audience that likes this game. <laughs> I, uh, I Honestly, I'm not a huge fan, but I'm sorry if any of you are offended by that. Um, we have Re Resident Evil Revelations. Re 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 can't Re talk Re English. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you do on that final? Bad? <laughs> no, I actually did okay. Jeez. <laughs> the Resident Evil Revelations ep oh, 2, Episode 1, came out for $6 this week. So, yeah, they, they had a huge... Episode one, they're releasing an episode every single week, so and I love that because yeah. I don't I, I don't believe Telltale did that with their episodic games like <clears throat> like Walking Dead mm -hmm. and Game of Thrones. I don't think they released it every single week, and this is great because then I you know I can have anticipation for oh yes, an episode two is coming out, and I'm actually in the middle of playing that. Yeah. By the way, so 
and I love it so far, you know, that, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> like screaming, yeah, screaming. Um, and it is coming to Vita. It's Which is good news. Coming to Vita, baby. Yes. We are huge Vita lovers. I love the Vita. It's it's worth the money if you if you can drop the money on it. So if you're a Resident Evil Revelation fan, um, it's going to be like six bucks episode, like I said before. But if you want to buy the season pass, you can buy it. it's twenty five bucks right now. Which would honestly, in the long run, save money. Oh yeah, and that sounds like. It's like th- how, I don't know how many episodes they're going to do. Probably six. Four, six. Okay. Normally it's six. That's, yeah. Gosh, so. save a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> starts off on this next game. <laughs> Rugby 15. Oh my gosh. And this is sad because I play this thing and see it, <clears throat> and the game is such a disgrace. It is so bad. So bad. All right, so I'm, I'm on the, I'm on like a bunch of different websites reading a bunch of different reviews, okay? And I see Rugby 15, PS4, PS3, PS Vita, and I'm like, PS Vita? 32 bucks. I was like, okay, that's okay, but I, I want to buy it if it's a good mm-hmm. sports game. Yeah. Like FIFA, I love FIFA on that's, Vita. Well, FIFA's always fun. Uh, oh, yeah. Can't go wrong with soccer. Exactly. So I'm I'm reading these reviews, and I, I, immediately I see the scores like 2.0, 2.1, 3. Like, I was seeing one star. <laughs> and I'm like, what is wrong with this game? So I'm reading these reviews. I eventually got to play a little bit of it. I didn't finish it because of how, literally how bad it was. You can't really finish the sports game. Yeah. I played some matches, but rugby fifteen. I, I don't even know. I, I you play rugby. I play rugby. You games. know all the rules. I, yeah, I know the sport. I, I don't really. know what what the rules are. I don't know how to do what. I don't even know. I know a try is like similar to a touchdown. You got to touch the ball and, and on the try. Yeah, 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 right, right. But but this game had zero tutorials, tutorial, which is off. It's not like football where you can jump into football and you just know you how know, to play because right. it's a sport that a ton of people and play. Madden you see it 15, everywhere. I looked it up. Madden 15 had 40, okay, football, right? Yeah. Everyone knows. You just said it. Everyone knows how to play. Exactly. 48 different tutorials. And that's 48 more tutorials than Rugby 15. That, that is, I mean, 48 <laughs> for a game that everyone knows how to play. But this game had zero, zero tutorials. Then they, ha- The only thing that was like semi-helpful was... The in game reminders. And I was like, okay, uh, I'm playing the game right now. Maybe you should remind me that before mm-hmm. I play, you know? Um, and that was horrible. So, the things that were wrong with the game that I thought was a game like predetermined what was going to happen, like the outcome of specific plays. Um, so, like, if you're going to be tackled, you, so you know how like Madden has that thing where you're running and you can hit stake. Like, yeah. it's not like, oh, you're going to be tackled at this point. Yeah. I felt like when I was playing this game, I'm running, 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 right? And the guy's there. I can avoid him, right? Yeah. But it, it, it just seemed like the game had, like, pre-guessed when I was going to be tackled. Mm-hmm. It, it wasn't, like, flow. It was really blocky and choppy. And this game doesn't even play on... It plays on PS3. But it is so bad. I'm talking the crappiest <laughs> resolution. Like, I can't tell. It looks like I'm playing... Um, oh, gosh. Like, like a what, PlayStation 2 play, game? Yeah, like yeah. a PlayStation 2 game. And it pretend it's like a... 64 bit if it was possible on a PlayStation 2 mm-hmm. where you don't even know what's happening. Yeah. It's just kind of a blur. Oh my blur. gosh, it was so 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 frustrating. And <laughs> another thing, there wasn't even a whistle. There's no There's whistle. no whistle. There's no whistles in rugby. Yeah, there is. Only only if the ball goes out of bounds or if there's a penalty. Well, to me there was no um. whistle. <laughs> I thought there was there should be a whistle. <laughs> that should be implemented. Was, Rugby, national, whatever. There there was a stoppage if there was a penalty, though, right? Yes. And then yes. a whistle? Yes. That's the only time there would have been a whistle. It's so like soccer. There's not a whistle after you... Okay. It's like soccer. Once there's once you get tackled, yeah, there's a ruck forms. Right. Which is like, like protection a, of the ball. Okay. And then you pass the ball out. Well, right. You just keep going. There's no stoppage. Okay. It's just 90 minutes of go. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I, I calculated the averages of the ratings, mm-hmm. and it was a solid 2.0. Well, that's, you know... Hey, they got the 2.0. If it was a two out of, if it was a <laughs> two on a scale of one to two, you know, it's not doing too bad. But don't buy this game unless you're a huge like rugby person. You know, like someone like you or who have played the past rugby yeah. like you. I mean, if you want to give it a go, be my guest. Jonah Loma, 2011. That was a good rugby game. Nope. But this one sucks, and that's the truth. So maybe wait till it's uh, like a maybe free PS Plus, which 
Probably won't even have them because it's so bad. Yeah, probably not. So wait till it's like six <laughs> bucks in like a year or something, and you can get like a PS4 then for six it. bucks. Yeah, then it's worth then it. Then go buy it if you're bored on a weekend or something. Exactly. Quick list of the games that come out this week for the Vita and the PS3. Yes. For the PS3, we got Dead or Alive Five Last Round, and mm. I don't know much about that game. I Do want you? to. I I yes. I unfortunately didn't make enough tip money this week, so I couldn't buy it. <laughs> but I have heard wonderful things about this game, anticipating to uh, its release. Um, I, 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 I personally love fighting games. Mm-hmm. You know, I like it. Like Mortal Kombat X. Yeah. Can't wait till that comes That's out. That's going to be awesome. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to play this. Very, very excited. I haven't yet, unfortunately. And I'm sorry to all of you out there who probably love this game. The thing is, we don't always have all the funds in the world. Like, I'm still trying to hear back from a couple of places that right. I applied to. But eventually, this summer, when we'll be able to work and whatnot, and I'll have my lawn mowing job. Right, right. Started, right, me we'll, too. Same. We'll be able to, you know put games out there Same. uh dragon ball xenoverse as we talked about is coming out and that'll be 60 dollars uh dynasty warriors 8 empires i've heard good things about mm-hmm, this mm-hmm. and a lot of people are very excited in the reddit community as i have stalked tirelessly <laughs> wow that's that such subreddit. a negative connotation but, <laughs> you know not necessarily <laughs> yes yeah, stalked. anyways <laughs> resident evil revelations 2 also the episodic series is coming out and that'll be six dollars an episode as we stated. Came earlier. out. It came out. Oh, it came out. Yeah, oh, it's, it's already yeah, come out. I'm sorry. Yeah. It says right there. Wow. Fired. Just yeah. kidding. And then <laughs> full season pass for twenty five dollars. Rugby fifteen, that god awful clump. Don't buy. Don't buy yeah, it. Don't buy that. Star Wall, buy beautiful it. game. Definitely worth twelve dollars. And if you have PlayStation Plus, it's actually worth ten because we went to the store, we got twenty dollars worth of PlayStation cards, and we come back. Turns out it's only ten. Whoa. 10 more bucks and then under the night and birth exe late 40 dollars. don't know a lot about that game same all right let's do a vita. And, uh, vita dude speaking of vita we're doing a indie game exclusive here which will be very fun i'm, I'm very excited for that mm-hmm. very oh we'll showcase a lot of indie games coming out for the vita cross by games for the ps4 ps3 and it, it, I, I think it's going to be probably one of the most fun episodes that oh, we're yeah. going to be doing so far because I love indie games. Speaking of exclusive episodes, we're going to be doing a li- a, a few hints of these, you know, every every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to be doing probably an indie exclusive here, probably towards, um, I don't know, like the mid, mid-season mid for video games. We'll probably highlight, like, you know, like the Definitely top ones that E3 we thought. Too. Oh, my gosh. Um, speaking of E3, dude, I think we might be able to go to E3 or like PAX East. Possibly, possibly. I'm trying. I'm, I'm working some connections, Sweet. working so we can possibly get Dude, there. That'd be so cool. You know, we won't have our own booth unless we like boom big, which is you know, but very unlikely. Just but being there is awesome. Yeah. The, envi- the environment. Oh yeah. Okay, to highlight some, you know, four Vita games that came out this week. Okay, there's a lot more that came out and are coming out, but to highlight four, this came out this week. Desert Ashes. Holy balls, man! Holy balls! I, I love it. I think it's. Have you played blast. it yet? Yes, the stri- the, the whole strategic aspect of it is oh. what makes it so glorious. Because oh, yes. there's not, there's so many games now that don't do strategy like the that, right way. Yeah, that, like that game does, and it's a blast. And then I like how not only is it like risk in a way where like you can move your player around your, and your yeah your character whatever yeah. the heck and is. but it'll also go into animations when you fight which is i think is yeah. so cool it, it kind of like back to the pokemon yeah you know yeah and yeah i think that's fun okay <laughs> i'm gonna try to pronounce this um h-t-o-l hashtag n-i-q the flyer fly diary which you know it i i think this looks good the name for sure I, I looked at the name and I was like, what is this? And I looked at the pictures and read a little bit about it. I was like, okay, this looks okay. I haven't played it. I want to play it. Uh, Hyper Devotion Noir. Noir? Noir. Noir. Yep, see? English again. <laughs> Goddess Black Heart came out. And Rugby 15. Don't buy it. It's 35 bucks on Vita. That's a ripoff. You could buy Call of Duty for 15 or 10. I think it's fi- It's. I think it's, it's 20 15. now. Oh, they updated 20 now, yes. Okay. Mm. But that also sucks, so don't buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Killzone Shout or Killzone uh, Mercenary. Mercenary. That's a fantastic Great. first person Vita game. And yep, and again it's a Vita's third birthday. Mm-hmm. Little guy. But should we uh, Yeah, never mind. We'll talk about discounts for the Vita in our indie game special because the Vita mostly the discounts yes. are indie games. Which yes. is fantastic. I'm probably gonna spend too much money on the Vita. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so a little bit more news. Drive Club 
Okay, you know earlier how they promised us free PlayStation Plus. Yeah, and I'm mad. Yeah, okay, what the heck? I mean, that game is on the shelf for 60 bucks right now. Yes. And they promised us free, free PlayStation Plus. So, okay, I don't, I don't quite understand, developers. Put the game on the shelf, <laughs> but promise free PlayStation Plus. No one's going to buy I, Okay, me, I'm not going to buy a game. I'm waiting for the free PlayStation Plus yeah. to come out. And even then, when that comes out, I might not download it because of how delayed this is. The fact that they delayed it this long makes me think that they're almost just wanting you to pick up that mm-hmm. full game. Because mm-hmm. if you think about it, they're taking content out with the PlayStation Plus. Like, you don't get the full content as the full game. Oh. So it shouldn't be that hard to take the content out, I wouldn't think. Yeah, right, right, right. So, and even then, it's not like you're downloading a huge game now because some of the content isn't there. Exactly. And okay, I have it's kind of ridiculous. I have a quote. Um, Jim Ryan, who I believe is a reporter, was talking to Metro this week, mm-hmm. um, and he says... He's he asked him about the Drive Club about coming out to PlayStation Plus, mm-hmm. um, or maybe maybe I flip these people around. Jim Ryan is talking to Metro. Man, I can't clearly I can't type up notes again. We're starting podcast. <laughs> um, it was still he asked him. Okay, so what what's Drive Club like? Is it coming? Mm-hmm. He said it's still being looked at. It's still being gone over. And so then he then replied to ask again, Are we going to see any news soon? And he says, and I quote, I can't think about that. I can't think about that right now. Which is kind of almost dodging I, the question. Yeah. I, I, okay, I can't think about that right now. I, I mean, I don't even have an explanation, but what What do you have heck? to think about? I don't know. I, I think they're in development of... Um, no clue. I, I totally... I have no clue. <laughs> they, are in the, they're, they are working on lots of different things. So, I'm sorry, all you car fans... Um, just keep your hopes up. I, I really hope it's coming out soon for PlayStation Plus. I mean, that's it's gonna be a good game. I think it's it gonna looks be a good game. absolutely fantastic. But so I'm very irritated right now. Keep your eyes peeled on those on those news. We'll probably cover it if it comes out for PlayStation yeah. Plus. And hopefully, Gran Turismo Seven hits the shelves. So oh yes. I hope they announce it at E3. If they announce it at E3, I might cry a little. Oh. Oh, there's a lot that to be announced at E3. I'm so excited there for. Is. Anyway, and even if we don't go to E3, we'll probably be doing... We'll still watch it. Oh, yeah, and we'll do a whole review on it. Once on the, exactly, game. once the Sony show's over, there's going to be Or we something. could do a live through Twitch. That would be we cool. We could do a live stream. Our reactions, probably a lot of crying, a lot of jumping, <laughs> a lot of anger. That would be fun. It would still be fun. That would be really fun. <laughs> All right, now on to our main segment. The Order 1886. And I thought this game was fantastic. See, this is a problem. We are in opposition. Uh, it's a problem. I mean, not a problem. It's wonderful because we get to have great conversations. Yeah, exactly. About it. But, mm, you know, he loved it. Colton liked it. I didn't like it. Um, there are going to be some spoilers in this, so heads up if you haven't played it. Um, maybe fast forward just a little bit until we get to our ending. Yes, this is the last segment. This is the last segment. Yeah, so probably fast forward to the ending. Um, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of spoilers. So... You know, um, I bought this beauty. I bought the big premium oh, edition. Oh yeah, you guys like the you like the statue? Yeah, okay. yeah, I like it. I think it's cool. The art book's wonderful. Our art book is fantastic. I love the steel book too. Great, definitely fun. But um, we've been playing this since it first came out. Obviously, yep. I went and got it the day it came out, right after school, last last, last Friday. Week, yeah, yep. last weekend. And um, with finals and stuff, I couldn't you know finish it because it was a tough I'm week. not exactly the smartest kid again. Right. And so I had to study super hard for my finals. And and when we did get it <clears throat> on Friday, we tried as hard as we could to finish it. Yeah, and we ended up crashing. And just as hard we, as we tried to finish it. And then you like cram played it again that day, and we couldn't finish. It and then finals came. And and so it just got here we are. Up. I'm sorry. Whoa, burp. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep. So we are a little bit late. I'm sorry. So, you know, let's unravel this, like, piece by piece. So you liked the game. I liked it. I sort of liked the game. What What did you think to highlight to be the flaw or what was wonderful about it? What did you think? I I play video games for what they are. I don't look at them <clears> for <throat> what they aren't. So this whole multiplayer scandal where they're like, oh, I'm, I'm a multiplayer. Dude, I'm pissed. I want a multiplayer. I'm fine with that. I'm a multiplayer guy. But I'm a single player I'm a guy. freaking – no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's fight. Let's duke it out right now, now on this podcast. I will Let's go. Slap you so hard. Please don't slap me. I'll slap you and I will rip that. I'm gonna burn no, all this your. This needs hat. to stay. Okay, 
All right, let's do a little side note here. If you think Colton should take his hat off for the rest of the podcasts, please comment below. Let's see how many people who's on my side. Please comment that Colton needs to take his hat off for the rest of the podcast. I know he's like pissed at me right now, but I love his hair. I don't know if any of you like his hair because it's so unique, man. No one has that. No, please don't. Yeah, so um, comment below if you think Colton should take his hat off <laughs> for the rest of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I really think you should. So anyway, back to it. Um, keep going. What I liked it. I thought I play video games for what they are, like I said, so I didn't think of it. Like, oh, it doesn't have multiplayer. Oh, it doesn't have, like, a third game mode like Call of Duty does with Extinction or Survival or Zombies. Like, I played the story because that's what I bought. I knew I was getting a story. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this whole five-hour crap, I beat the game in, like, 13 hours or something on hard. Right. So, it's not like it was super short. And I felt like it was more of an origin story. What about you? Yeah, you know, about that, like, hour time limit. Um... Again, our our ti- I, I our title of the podcast is why we need shorter games. Exactly. And what I think is e- even uh, this is a thirteen. Hour, you said it was a thirteen hour game. Yeah. But compared to Watch Dogs and compared to GTA and compared to um, when Witcher Three comes out, like those are huge games. You Dragon know, like Age. super. Yeah, Dragon Age. Yeah, so super super long. And what I love about this is it didn't take me an incredible amount of time. Like, dude, exactly. I mean, we finished it in a week. Yeah. And we had finals. Exactly. And I think we need, I mean, I think the industry needs game, more games like this. Yeah. These open world games that we play, you know, the stories may only be 13 hours like GTA Five is. Right, right. But they're open world. So you could be doing the story and then two hours in, you do that heist, <laughs> you get this money. <clears throat> and you start spinning crap. You start right. driving around, shooting people because right. you can. Because it's GTA Five, and you're not gonna get arrested in real life. Right. Like, oh, dude! And Heist is coming out March tenth. March tenth. Yes. yes, that'll be awesome too. But like, yeah, you just get sidetracked in these open world games. Whereas the order is very linear. Oh yeah. And they do it with style. It looks beautiful. Right. Right. So. And speaking of that, the whole team actually visited. Gosh, what is it? Is it London? No. Yes, they visited London, London. Yeah. pre-launch yeah. and and checked it out. And oh, then, my goodness, pictures and everything, mm-hmm. and it is it's spot spot they, on with the, with the graphics. And they, like, and you were even talking about when we were playing it how the the clothing actually on the character, you know, it doesn't interact with the environment around yeah, it. Yeah, like I thought that was right. There's no clothing clipping. I think I saw it once where that clothing pops in, in first, and out of the body. First, first chapter? Or second Second chapter. Second chapter. It was the second chapter. Okay. But otherwise, like, he's running full out sprint and the, his clothing interacts with his body. Like, it doesn't go through it. It'll hit it and bounce off. And when it's windy, it'll blow. And I think that's I think that's awesome. And that's a step mm-hmm. in the exact right direction. Like, in Watch Dogs, sometimes you'd run and your right, right. coat would clip right. and you'd see your legs sticking out the back of your coat. And right. you'd be like, oh, <laughs> crap. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> First, yeah. Um, so, what. What what did you uh, that you know one highlight did you think what what did you think was I know you liked the game I know you really liked the game because yeah. you're that kind of guy you're that kind of cinematic yeah film style mm-hmm. what, what if you could pick out one thing that you think was and eh, kind of not could have done better or maybe didn't like the fights with the elders oh yes and gosh the lichen like that was it seemed really cut and paste for me and I mean I still enjoyed it. But I feel like they, with each elder and with each lichen, you got to be able to like switch it up, do something different. Yeah, that it way, was the it's, same. Yeah, it was basically the first elder fight, right there. <laughs> it was the exact same thing as the last elder fight when you fight Lucan. Yes. And it's just a different, it's like it's just a different setting. And but even even the the. Option where you can grab the board on the floor is the same. The exact same. It's the same. Yeah. And I, I guess for a story, very very linear like you were talking about, very very scripted on point Mm -hmm. game. You know, I would think that they would want to switch it up uh, and to keep them interested. Right. And because there's only these two huge fights. Yeah. I mean, make it different. You know, make it different. Then that was one thing. What about you? I hated. I uh, personally, I I. Didn't like the game. I didn't hate it. I wouldn't like throw it in mm-hmm. the trash can. I would play it again 
if I had to. Like, if you paid me 10 bucks to play it, I'd play it. <laughs> the only part that I really, really liked in the game was, number one, I love the movement. I love the movement. It, it's, it's so different, like, even just sprinting. Like, mm-hmm. like the when I first saw you take off down those stairs, it, it was before legitimate. the first firefight, I was like, oh, my gosh. And even, like, the peaking system uh, when you're hiding behind something mm-hmm. and the, the flow with the gun over the – the top of something or around something it, it's it was wonderful that's and what also I, like when you're aiming down sights with a sniper yes. i think in like chapter 11 or so when you're with uh remy revy devi and something the indian girls <laughs> you don't need you have a, yeah, I forget their names now you're using a sniper rifle and when you lean around the corner you can only lean so far until your sniper hits the hits. side of a board or something and i was like that's cool because yes. most of the time, if you're playing like Call of Duty or something, and like in Ghost, and you lean around the corner, you can just keep leaning. Right. And right, see right. everything. Whereas this legitimately stops you from right. leaning, which is cool. I right. thought that was very cool. Um, yeah, I, I really liked all the mechanics of that part. Um, I also really, really loved the ending. And we'll get to that later on towards towards the end. I love the ending. I love how it, it set itself up for a sequel. And Okay, we'll talk about that later. But, all right. My rant now, dude. This this game is just I don't I didn't like it. It's too slow. It's too it's it's too scripted. It's too like not I wouldn't say deep because mm-hmm. I love Last of Us. Yeah. And people are probably like, "What the heck, man? <laughs> Last of Us is your favorite game, but you hate this game." Yeah. And I understand. I can see how you say it, but it's different. I, I number one, I didn't feel so connected to the characters like I did in Last of Us. Like mm-hmm. Ellie could have been my sister. I mean, my sister's name is Ellie right now. Like, literally, that's my sister's name. <laughs> yeah. But I felt connected, like, to Joel and Ellie. Like, I felt connected. Mm-hmm. And and when people died, like, like um, at the one part when Joel's buddy, who has the partner, when you go to Henry? the... Yeah, he, yes. When his partner, like, hanged himself in, in, oh, the, in the house. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I like, oh, my gosh. About. Oh, my gosh, yeah. But, yes, and when Henry, yeah. When it wasn't he, Henry. It was... Uh... Who's the dude? No, where? Henry's the black guy. Yeah, the Henry's the black, black guy. Kid. Yeah. He doesn't hang himself. No, I know, but I, I, I now I'm confusing the, what I was talking about, The too. big white dude. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> they shoot him because yeah. he... Yeah. That that was sad. I was I was crying at the beginning when Joel's... First 20 minutes? Yeah. Like, that's that's how... Good, they got me in the first yeah. part. This game, I feel like, didn't have that. I like the historical part. Mm-hmm. I like the historical fiction where... Or the historical fiction and the real historical stuff, mm-hmm. but I didn't, yeah, you know, I didn't like the the flow of it. It was too slow. Gosh, there was like two cutscenes that were like way too long. There's two chapters of cutscenes, which, but that's I like that. I you know. like that? I like sitting back sometimes and watching the screen, just being like. But I cool. buy a video game to play it. Yeah, and I understand. Yeah, it's a good switch up of things. It's a good mixture in, in the industry, but I don't. You know, I just didn't like it. I, I didn't really like it. And a lot of part of... I, I love how they're bold, you know, in, in making this game. Mm-hmm. It, it's a PS4 exclusive. This is definitely a it. game that'll have a sequel. Right. Just warranting the success that it's had. Even though it hasn't been the, like, AAA box office hit that right. people were hoping it would be. It's definitely sold enough to warrant a sequel, which I'm very excited about. Right. Right. And, you know, I I completely agree on that. And I like how their their setting goes, and I like how it's it's a different flow. But they also, I think they could have put maybe in their minds what is the trend of game at the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I, I think we're kind of in a transition stage right now. But very recently, it was open world. Mm-hmm. It was like Watch Dogs, Dragon Age. Gosh, what else? Um, GTA Five. GTA Five. Yeah, all. Okay. These three games that I didn't know, <laughs> but I, I very much feel like that was the trend at the mm-hmm. time, and maybe Far I think Cry. Far Cry, Dan, dang, and all these games, yeah. Um, but I really feel like they could have done a better job with that, maybe including multiplayer, like to appeal to people like me. But there, it's that's the thing, like it's it, such it's, a story based thing. Story-based. They wanted to focus all their story, and they set it up perfectly right. for a sequel. All these loose ends that people are talking about that's aren't true. really. Loose ends as much They're, as they purposely left it open ended right. to develop this sequel to continue, yeah. Because you don't want to you don't want to tie all the loose ends in the first one. Because then there's like like yep. the way the Last of Us did, they tied all their loose ends. That's Everything true. you know came to a final conclusion, and that's why that game was so beautiful and perfect is because they did it the right way yeah. and they ended it 
basically saying there shouldn't be a sequel mm -hmm. to a point. Right. Like, or no, at I least, really, at least. I hope there is, but I don't. You know, like at least Joel and Ellie's story can be over. Right. Like, it came to a conclusion, and right. you're happy about that. Right. Maybe, maybe seeing another one in the same world would be nice. But that's kind of what they did. Yeah. They set it up for this same universe, but then they also didn't tie the ends so right. that you can, you know. And yeah, of course you you're you're like yes, yeah, I'm sequel. Pumped. I'm pumped about that. I think, yeah, and like you said, I I really think this is a setup like you know you always got to have that first mm -hmm. that first to establish the base and then like i think the sequel is going to be great like, like uncharted Unch yeah i was just about to say like yeah, uncharted. uncharted first one it was very good everyone loved it but they didn't like the mechanics and this did a lot of what uncharted one did the gameplay was you know it had great graphics for the time mm -hmm. the gameplay was pretty much cut and paste gameplay it was the same thing over and over and over again mm -hmm. and then you look at the jump from uncharted 1 to uncharted 2 and uncharted 2 got <laughs> rave reviews yeah. everyone loved it they said gameplay <clears throat> was smooth fluid fantastic graphics were amazing mm -hmm. i go back and i look at some of those graphics from uncharted 2 those textures are still fantastic i'm still blown away that the playstation like 3 at that could, time could, could do run. that yeah. yeah that's so early exactly and I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Uncharted Four's coming out. Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. It's rated M two. Is it really? Yeah, I I, I believe so. I, I I've read a few. I, it's a rumor. Don't take my word for it. I believe it's going to be M. I know Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight. Yeah, that just rated got rated M. M. I hope that since Arkham Knight was rated in M and and new category of gaming rated N <laughs> for Noah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but rated M because I, I feel like that would. Really, really make it more in depth, but that's a different topic yeah. that we'll talk about later. Anyway, I love the length of the order. I loved that length. Didn't like the mechanic, or I love the mechanics. Sorry, D hated the flow of the game. Hated this. Hated the story. I hated the story. I like how it ended. I liked it. It, it, it grabbed me emotionally. It grabbed me to play the sequel, even if there is a sequel. Mm -hmm. Even though I didn't like it, I'll probably play it. I hated that the lichens were in it. You didn't like them? No, well, I, I don't, I didn't, mm, there's only a few scenes of them in it. I just feel like it's so random. It's so, it's so random. Like, maybe implement something else. Like, maybe like, like, you know, how they have the rebels. Mm -hmm. like the, well, the, they were fighting with the rebels. Well, well right, right, right. Which They're, is kind of why I guess they tied it in. Yes. It's, it's part of that loose end thing. It, that's true. That's true. And, yeah, I hated the boss fights, whatever you want to call yeah, them, with the, the two elders. Yeah, the elder fights. Yeah, those those were kind of copy paste. So that that's my. I think Ready at Dawn. The the they played too. it safe. They played it. That's very true. Safe. And I'm I'm glad they played it safe because this was supposed to come out Christmas. That yes, it was supposed to come out. Yeah, and they delayed it so that they could tweak some things. That's true. And had it probably come out at Christmas, it probably would have done worse. Hor I feel horrible. like I think it would have been horrible. Uh, but now that like not many games are coming out. Like they release it now, a lot of people bought it because not many games are coming out. That's where they made their money. They played it very safe. Yeah. What I'm seeing is like a lot of the community, like the Reddit community and whatnot, they look at the game and they they judge it, and then it comes out. And like a lot of people on the PS4 subreddit and the Order the Game subreddit, they're like, "This game's fantastic." Like yeah. they loved it. Yeah. But then the reviewers are just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, they're very they're very analytical. Like a 2 out that. of 10? Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. That's, that's no, too low. Yeah, no game unless if it's Basement Crawl from PS4 <laughs> which came out forever where you start the game and it poops on you. Uh, or like Rugby 15. Or Rugby 15. <laughs> that mm. But but with the yeah, oh, okay, what the heck? Yeah, with the mechanics of the game and even the story of the game. Mm -hmm. Like the story is wonderful. It's it's so in depth and amazing. I hated it, but just the fact that they can put that in the game mm -hmm. with all the historical crap and all the like even historical fiction mm -hmm. with these like, oh, half breeds, yep. yeah, and all the guns and like that's amazing for for a video game to do. Yeah, and, and the I, fact that it's the first one. Exactly. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm excited. so you're well, I, you liked it. I don't. I'd give it. Well, yeah, what, what would you of rate? A to F, which is what we grade our games on, is A to F. Okay. No numbers. No numbers. A to F. I feel like numbers are yeah. like kind of three point four. Okay, so <laughs> why, why point four? four? Yeah. yeah. How do you even determine yeah. that? 
A to F. Why not just a three? Of, why not a three point five? But yeah, A to F. Great. I'd probably give it. The Last of Us being A plus 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 infinite pluses. I'd give the order a B to a B plus. Okay. Because I don't know. I like these kinds of games. I, gi- I give it that. I give that to you. Yeah, I'll give it an average. A C. A C. Give it a C. Not a C plus. Not a C minus. A C. Certainly not a D or an F. That's too low for this game. Basement crawl and rugby fifteen or an F. If if we're going strictly based off of the game and not our opinions, I would give it a C. A C. If it's based on my opinion, I give it a D. But my opinion doesn't matter. <laughs> That, yeah, this is what we talked about. But, yeah, I'd give it a C. But a that solid C, C, that average is good, though, if you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like, they'll take they'll take a C game. Oh, yeah. See what they did wrong. See what they did wrong. <laughs> See what they did wrong. <laughs> and they'll... Gotcha. I'll be here all week, folks. Bang, bang. Um, and they'll take that C, and they'll look at what they did wrong. Right. And they'll be like, that's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. That's an easy fix. Like... This multiplayer thing, guarantee you in the sequel there'll probably be multiplayer. And that'll be a and multiplayer I hope so. that I'll play. Like The Last of Us multiplayer, I play that because that's it. fantastic. It I does things it. differently. Yeah, it's awesome. I still play it. I still, I still play it. Speaking of playing things, folks, today marks the day that I bought a PS4. Yes, I know you're like, what? You don't have a PS4? Yeah, we've been, um, we've really been working at your house with your PS4. Mm-hmm. With all the games and stuff. But yes, I got a PS4. You guys can add me at Noah underscore Hanky22. What are you? I'm Blackshirt Boy 44 because of Nebraska Cornhuskers defense. I'm, Nebraska. I'm from Nebraska. <laughs> you farmer. I'm sorry. I, didn't <laughs> no, I guess to, we live in Indiana. I, yeah, I didn't mean farmer. to be born in Nebraska. <laughs> Gee. Um, so yeah, so that, that's, that was our, that's our review on the order. I, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I'm I'm excited to see what what they, what they bring. And there yeah. is DLC coming out too, by the way. Forgot yes. to mention that. You're right, right. They are in the works for DLC, which could possibly tie up loose ends. And if they do it right, this DLC could potentially make this game even better. Okay. Well, do you think it's is it going to add on to the end after? I hope not. After I that, or is it going to be like a middle thing? Like it's going to throw you back into the middle of the or game? Or possibly. By the way, you said spoilers. You or know, some Percival dies, right? Right, right. Possibly you could play as him before the order, oh. like before this game takes place. Maybe. Oh, even. That would dude. Be cool. Or even like how the um, how everything started. Yeah. To how get to where the to order. It, yeah. yeah, that would be. I would play that. That would be fun. I would play that. You made your kid be excited on a game I didn't really like. <laughs> Boom! That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> All right, so. Let's talk a little bit about our schedule. We're going to be doing our indie podcast. Which is going to be amazing. I and pulled I'm out about... so excited. Yeah, I pulled out about 20 to 30 indie games okay. that we'll look at. And that'll be that'll be fun. I'll enjoy that. Also, for all of you that are wondering, like, what? This is a podcast, but they're not on iTunes? Mm-hmm. That, dude, I'm, the same. I'm right along with you. We are actually in the process of getting our podcast approved with iTunes, fill out an application and stuff. So they're actually reviewing us right now. And they're, we're hoping... They're gonna accept us. I mean, everyone, yeah, no one gets accepted unless you are like completely stupid. No, you, there's even like really like vulgar ones on there. I don't think you can get not accepted. I just think it has to meet all requirements. Yeah, it has to just be on paper. Has, right, right. It has to read all the stuff. So they're, they're we're gonna be up on iTunes soon, and we'll, we'll definitely let you know. Free downloads can, too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. As this always. Week, yep. Go ahead. This week's game yeah. jam will be fun. We're thinking about. I think we're gonna play Trials Fusion. Which mm. controllers will be thrown? Oh my gosh! That people game. will die. PS4s will be thrown out the window. More water will be poured on people's hair. Of course. But if you guys also like this week, we did. Um, I put, I did a part one and part two mm-hmm. on for our YouTube's. Part one we did Star Wall. Mm-hmm. Part two we did Tower Fall Ascension. So if you guys want us to like play a local multiplayer game like this, or or even a multiplayer game where you want to see us play and you want to see us scream and yell at each other. Or something, yeah, yeah. Just comment in the comment below what you want to see us play, and we'll definitely play it. Also, if there's any game you want us to get, 
Let us know because this is this is for the players. Oh, yeah. obviously we're Sony fans, so obviously this is for the players. Right. If you want us to get a game, play a game, do a walkthrough of the game, do a game jam, yeah. you know, review it. Let us know. And Comment. it doesn't have to be new. It can be like P- it can be PS3. I wish I still had my PS3. You still have the PS1? Have, yeah, I have a PlayStation One. Oh shit. I have a PlayStation Two. Oh, do you really? Yeah. I have to go. I think my 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 to. buddy has all these PlayStation Two games. That, that, like, I'm talking, like, a stacked, huge, stacked. huge, like, closet. So mm-hmm. we can, if you guys have a PS2 game, I can definitely contact him. We can, That'd be fun. That would be awesome. So, you know, that, that, that wraps up this week's Episode 2 podcast. So, thanks for watching Big League Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Big League Games. Also, throw back to earlier in the episode, at 100 subscribers, we're doing a giveaway. Again, we're not going to release what that is. But please subscribe if you like our content. And also, if you think we can do anything better, just comment in the link below. Send us an email at podcastbigleagaming at gmail.com. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what we can do better. Also, shout out again to Sir Banjo. That was awesome what you did for yes, us. Yes, thank you so much. And feedback like that is means the world to us. Oh, honestly. yes. Absolutely. And I know a lot of people say that, but starting out on YouTube, it's, oh, yeah. hard, it's hard to it get noticed. Hard. It's hard. And... Speaking of which, like 300 views on our first yes. episode. Like, thank you, that's guys. That's pretty good. Oh, my and goodness. we seriously thank you tremendously for what you've done for us. Absolutely. Though, so, yeah, we'll keep you posted. Yep. You can follow me at Noah Hanky on Twitter. Follow him at Murfinator44 on Twitter. And that concludes this week's podcast with Big League Gaming. Absolutely. This is your host, Noah Hankinson. Bye-bang. And Cold Murphy signing Sunshine. off. Sunshine. See you guys later.